So today we're going to be looking at how to create a WordPress website or blog using uh, Bluehost. Uh, now you do obviously need a Bluehost account for this to actually uh, work. So if you don't have one, you can actually sign up using my affiliate link below in the bottom right hand corner. Just simply type that URL into your browser and uh, you can sign up. Otherwise, if you're all signed up and logged in, then we can get started. Okay, so we're now logged into our uh, Bluehost cPanel, uh, and in order to get started installing WordPress, what you need to do is find a section here that says Website. Now, mine's at the top, but yours could be down the page. But uh, just in that section there, there's a button that says Install WordPress. So to get started, we're just going to click on that button. And you'll find we're now brought to this little Welcome page here, in which if I scroll down, there's another button here that says Get Started, a little green arrow. I'm going to click on that. And this is where we get to select the domain. Now, if you have signed up for Bluehost and just chosen your one free domain, there will only be one available. I actually have several on this account. So I'm just going to click down and choose the domain I want to install to, which is webdesignfrasercoast.com. And you'll see the installation is now ready to begin. So I'll just click Next. Now I want to change the title to Web Design Fraser Coast. Username, I wouldn't choose the word admin for security purposes. I would choose something a bit different. Um, now, what I'm actually writing here is hidden, but I would just try and choose something unique that only you would guess. Uh, just for security purposes, it's just a, a safe way to go about um, keeping your security on your website high. Now, as you type this up, I would recommend actually creating a notepad. Now you see here I've actually got a notepad so I type in username, password and I tend to just save these somewhere uh, for later reference. And of course the email address which I will change to whatever email address you want to use. And you can, you can stick with the randomly generated password that goes there. I would recommend sticking with the random password just because it's safer and it's going to be harder for people to guess and hack into your site. So you need to just click a few boxes down here. to Basically, this will automatically create the new database, overwrite any files existing on the domain, and also you need to just read the terms and conditions and agree to that. And then we just click Install. And you'll see up here it says WordPress is installing. So now all we have to do is just wait for that to go through and it'll install WordPress for us. It's pretty straightforward. As you can see, the installation is complete and I can actually view my credentials here. Once again, this is the same details we put in earlier. So you want to save those if you haven't already. And WordPress is now installed. So if I click on this address bar here, you see I can now log into the website using those credentials I copied earlier. So I'll just copy and paste those in there. So I've got the wrong username. <laughs> log in. I don't. And you'll see now we're in it. So this is just a nice little uh, wizard you can go through to set up your WordPress site. It's pretty straightforward. Um, just ask a few questions. Now, obviously, if you have a business, you would click on business. Let's say design services in the coast. So you can just set up like a title and description. Next. Are you going to keep your website updated with blog posts? If you are, yes. If not, you can just click no. Now, for the sake of this video, I am going to just say no. Um, you're able to start a contact us page. That's something you can go through. This is not really something worth going through at the moment, but it is a nice little way to get started to build a contact page. So I'm just going to click no. I don't want to connect that up. And you see, you can insert some other details here, like, you know, street, Brisbane, Corvo, that sort of thing. And you sort of get the idea. And don't we? So you get a few options and you just got to go through and you can customize your site. Now it says here, shows you how to get a WordPress theme on there. Now you may want to go with a free WordPress theme or a premium one, but just for the sake of video, we will choose 
a free WordPress theme. So instead of actually going here, we're going to head under appear and appearance to themes, and you'll see that we have a few free free themes installed. We actually want to get another theme, so I'm going to go to WordPress.org themes up the top here. Just click that. And this is where you could shop for some themes, find the ones you want, and you get to you can basically customize them from there. Now every theme is different, has its own options, but um, so I won't go through how to customize those themes. But just for now, we're going to install the theme here, bold R, install that, and activate. So I'll go up to here and visit the website. Open up that main website page. You see, we have a new theme, Web Design Fraser Coast. A few options now. You can actually go through into uh, into the theme options, wherever they may be, depending on the theme. If I go back to the dashboard under the themes here, you see this customized. So you got a few options there. Something for another video, but you can see we've basically got our website, um, we've got a theme we want, and we're basically almost ready to go. So after you've gone in and put in some information you can create new pages here um, once again something for another video but uh, once you're ready to go we'll just head back to our main dashboard here and if our website is ready to be published we need to remove the coming soon page but first of all we're just gonna just scroll down out of this close that It says here, you're currently displaying a coming soon page. So once you've got your website where you want it to, to be, if you're logged in, you can see it, but no one else can. You just want to click here to remove the coming soon page. And it says your site is now live. So as you can see now, our site is live and people can visit it. So that's basically how to get your website started. Obviously, there's a lot more to it than that, but that shows you how to get WordPress installed, pick a theme, and get the look you're after, get the website live so people can see it so that's a good easy way to get started um, and from there there's other steps uh, if you want to learn more just head to willbuildyourblog.com and um, we can help you from there all right thanks for watching this video so now your website's all set up, uh, up and running. If you do uh, still need to sign up for Bluehost and uh, you want to sort of get the best deal, just uh, head to uh, www.willbuildyourblog.com slash Bluehost deals. Uh, now that is a link, as I said in the beginning, is an affiliate link of mine. So if you do sign up, I do receive a commission, but this has no effect on the price. Uh, that you pay. It is a top service. I've been using it for years and I highly recommend them. I host several websites there. So um, yeah, check it out. Uh, and if you have any trouble signing up, please feel free to leave a comment below and I'll help out as best I can. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.